Hey kids, do you like homosexuals? <laughs> we do too. Do you like free speech? So do we. N not that one though. Not get get that out of here. Get that get the fuck out. Hello everyone, it's me Goose. How you doing? Oh boy, where do I start with this one? Listen, to be honest, me talking about this situation isn't really going to change anything, and I pretty much will be saying a lot of things that everyone has already said. Though I think it's important to talk about this issue because, well, you can't let them get away with this shit. Them, of course, being Blizzard. Now, if you're totally unaware with what happened, well, let me inform you very briefly. So on Tuesday, Blizzard held a tournament in Taipei for their card game Hearthstone, and this tournament was a player by the name of Blitzchung, who, after winning a crucial match, ended up donning a gas mask in an interview and spoke passionately in his support of Hong Kong's liberation. Now, if you're totally oblivious in that manner, well, trust me, I am not the guy you should be asking. This whole Hong Kong and China thing, I mean, there's a whole long, complicated history between the two places, and I highly suggest reading into it yourself. Although if you want a very basic explanation of this, essentially China is trying to pass a new law that could potentially take away Hong Kong's civil rights and democracy. Now on paper, that already sounds bad, but if you dig a little deeper into the manner, you'll find there's a lot way worse farther down the rabbit hole you go. So it's only fair for those in Hong Kong to protest against this, and seeing as how Blitzchung is a native citizen of Hong Kong, it's really no wonder why he'd show his support on stream. But Blizzard ain't having none of that, especially their Chinese uh, counterparts who have spoken in the honor of China. Oh god. They deleted the archive off of the face of the earth, they banned Blitzchung from any tournaments for over a year, and took away his tournament winnings. And also, bonus, they also just fired the casters for just being there. And I, I guess they just didn't stop him from saying all this, and that was grounds for them to just fire them and never employ them ever again. Oh wow, I wonder why Blizzard, a game company that makes a ton of money off of the Chinese market, would suddenly be against a player who could be upsetting the Chinese people. Hmm. Now to be totally fair, I made a video similar to this where I talked about Nintendo taking down stages from the Smash Brothers stage creator that mentioned trans rights. And I stand with what I said. I, I believe what I said is applicable here too. If game companies don't want to be political, then that's their policy. Respect the policy, you know? And like, I get it. Oh, but Goose, there's nothing political about basic human rights. That's something we all deserve, yada yada. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying I like it. I'm just saying respect the policy. You don't just go to someone's house and start talking about the infant mortality rates in Africa, do you? No, because that shit's depressing and annoying, especially if you're with people that are just really uncomfortable with baby death. So as shitty as it is that corporate brands don't like to talk about politics, it's also just as shitty and kind of silly to think that these corporate brands should talk about politics or that they should care. It's like I said in the aforementioned Smash Brothers video, corporate brands aren't your friends. They're friends with your wallet. They will do pretty much anything in their power to make you think that they are your friends in order to get closer to your money. They'll support gay rights, they'll make fun of Trump, they'll make up funny memes, they'll have a Twitter account that's very sassy and very millennial-ish. But it's all just a guise to just make you think that they believe in what you believe in because that's just a more popular way for them to get money from you. I know it sounds cynical, but unfortunately that's just the truth, and none of you should really feel heartbroken when you find out that this giant corporate brand that's been supporting gay rights suddenly drops the guys and takes down their Twitter banner or whatever rainbow flag they have up on their profiles. Cause it doesn't mean anything to them. It just means good PR. I'll say it again, corporate brands aren't your friends. They only like your money. However. This case is different than Nintendo's situation. See, because while Blizzard clearly has a strangely worded policy saying how they don't like bringing uh, this sort of shit up in tournaments, Blizzard is also a company that seems to champion itself as a brand that supports the players, the people, its workers, and the voices that they all have. And yet here they are, banning a player for saying just a few words of support for his people in Hong Kong. That's like banning someone for saying, hey yo, trans rights. BAN! Take his money! Fucking kill him! See, and going back to Nintendo's case, it's not like they ban people for making maps, nor did they take away their 
money or their rights to speak up about this stuff. They just took down the map. That's it. I think Blizzard, at most, should have just given him a slap on the wrist. I don't know, maybe a, a week off. Just, you're banned from tournaments for the next month or so. I don't know, keep the policy up. But the overreaction really defined what Blizzard really is. It's clear through their actions that Blizzard never really cared much for what he said, but who he said it to, in fact. I mean, let's face it, if the dude was an American and he said something like impeach Trump, then of course the guy would have gotten away with it because it aligns to Blizzard's left-wing liberal appearance. Not their agenda, just the appearance that they have this agenda, which is far more popular to gamers than, you know, conservative mindsets. Also, it doesn't cost a dime to make fun of Trump, whereas they could potentially lose millions of dollars making fun of China or, God forbid, having someone speak their mind on Chinese affairs. In fact, just to double down on this, Blizzard had a college tournament where one of the players actually held up a sign that says, Free Hong Kong, Boycott Blizzard. What happened to these guys? They didn't get banned. And it's most likely because they're Americans and they were American players in an American live stream, while the other one was in a Taiwan live stream where it could be potentially seen by Chinese audiences. So their policy of keeping it non political is really crumbling now because this is obviously political and it has the same agenda as the previous player had that is Plitchchung, but they're not facing any repercussions. Clearly, a greater evil is working behind the scenes to shut people up. But of course, certain people. Why do you think they came out with a homosexual character in Overwatch? It's because they had received a lot of flack for having a mobile Diablo game just a few weeks prior being announced in BlizzCon. It's as I said before with that Soldier 76 video, which I'll just play right here. My issue and fear with this whole thing is that this sort of announcement doesn't really come from a place of sincerity or the welcoming of diversity, but rather a malformed practice of malicious guerrilla marketing that disguises itself as some form of progressive movement for the video game industry, as many other media have done in the past, but in reality, it's not true and is made, again, solely for marketing purposes. Yeah, and uh, it sure seems like that's the case. Can't wait for the reveal of Overwatch's first trans black character. Boy, that'll be a hoot. Fuck it, why don't we just retcon the entire story and make one of the other characters trans? That's fucking, I don't know, spin the wheel of queers! Wait, what? Wow. Wouldn't it be a shame if Mei, their only Chinese character, was made into a symbol of hope for Hong Kong protesters? Man, wouldn't it suck if Overwatch was banned in China? Oh, what's that? Tencent owns 5% of Blizzard? What? Tencent owns 100% of Riot Games? What? Sun Wukong, a Chinese folklore hero that's loved and widely celebrated all throughout China is in League of Legends? What? Man, wouldn't it be a shame if Sun Wukong was used as a symbol of protest for the people of Hong Kong? Wouldn't it suck if Tencent had to get rid of League of Legends from China? What? You're saying there's a Chinese influence race in World of Warcraft named the Pandarian? What? You're saying that they're heavily based off of Chinese folklore? Wait. What would happen if we all played as Pandarians and started protesting in World of Warcraft? Wouldn't it be a shame the World of Warcraft was banned from China? Alright, look, I got no real pleasure out of making fun of Blizzard. Well, I mean, maybe a little bit. It's just a sad thing to see a gaming company that was once considered the future of games just stoop so low. To kiss the ass of an entire nation because they're so fucking devolved of individuality and soul that they'd resort to just groveling on the floor just for one more lick of China's sweet taint. This is the company that gave their players a voice that has a long history of being connected to their people and now they're choosing to just tuck their dicks in and just shut everyone up that dares insult their sugar daddy China. It's a sad state of affairs. Yet, not all is lost. I mean, I think a lot of focus on this video and on the story in general is always on Blizzard, but it really should be on Blitzchung and those who stood with him in defiance of Blizzard. While he didn't know it at first, he had given up his tournament money and his ability to play this game competitively for his people. And that's something other Hearthstone players are willing to sacrifice for the sake of people they don't even know as well. 
that's a selfless act of kindness and it's great that they've got the balls to stand up against what they feel is right while sacrificing so much. And of course, shout out to the Blizzard employees who've now protested against their own company, risking their jobs just to champion the voice of their player base and the people of Hong Kong. It's important to note that Blizzard is just a company that harbor real people with real opinions and real voices. They don't just hire robots, and it's important to know that there are people within this company who share your sentiment. Hell, I'd assume that a large portion of this company supports Hong Kong protests, but they just can't say anything for the fear of losing their jobs. But that is an important thing to take away from all this. Blizzard, just like any other major corporation, is not your friend. They never have and never will. They will always prefer money over you. Sure, back before Activision bought them out and made them more corporate, some of you might have thought that they were this badass indie dev team that was all about t weeds and epic lulls, but truth be told, money makes the world go around. I mean, it's capitalism 101, and seeing all these devs trying to capitalize on Blizzard's controversy and people are just gobbling it up is proof that it ain't ever going anywhere. Blizzard isn't an evil corporation that hates free speech. They just love money more than you. Sorry, but it's, that's like, that's just business, man. And for those of you who are participating in this weird Blizzard boycott, which I mean, isn't very effective, by the way. I'm sure many of you have already bought Overwatch or on your sixth consecutive year of being subscribed to World of Warcraft. Uh, so uninstalling these games won't do you any good. However, if you really want to hit hard, here's a suggestion. BlizzCon is coming up. Don't buy the ticket. Simple. Don't, don't, just don't go to it. Don't buy the virtual ticket. None of that. And if you already bought it, consider refunding it. Or if you can't get a refund, then consider going and giving them a piece of your mind. Non-violently, of course. Secondly, if you're a subscriber to WoW, then I highly suggest unsubscribing and telling them why you're leaving. Third, and finally, remember that your voices do matter. And if you support the Hong Kong protest, then find an appropriate outlet to let your voice be heard. Because for now, that's just how Blizzard is, and that's how most gaming companies are going to be. I know there are some dudes out there that are going to make themselves out to be this hero that will never shut up to China, but I assure you they've already accepted thousands of dollars worth of checks, maybe even millions of dollars worth of checks, under the table without you even knowing. Because that's just how it is, man. Sorry, but these corporations aren't your friends. So instead of facing disappointment with these corporations being nihilistic towards your ideas, make sure you know where to voice yourself. And always know that you have a voice. It's just that some people, especially rich people, don't want to hear you. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Love you all so much. Goodbye.